All right. But well, we are here. Uh, the other day while I was casting Loi the Legend, someone said, T90, you should do team games on Pacific Islands. And I was like, what? That's That's got to be a stupid idea. And then I did it. And well, what is up with Red's name, by the way? I actually had a really good time. The game, unfortunately, wasn't very close. So for Loi the Legend fans, uh, it's not something that you would have really enjoyed. Trust me. But we have eight players here on Pacific Islands. And the way I would describe Pacific Islands is it's very similar to Migration. Where you start on an island, and then you will eventually need to transport off that island to go to different areas. Now, you've got some areas with trees, okay? And that, you know, that's not that exciting. But then in the middle, you've got trees, gold, stone, deer. As Sir Explosive Hopper, one of the focal points of this game, I'm sure, says, Would like to take this opportunity to say that YouTube chat is actually not stinky at all, and that it smells good. Okay, everyone here says that YouTube's stinky. Obviously, everyone who comes in here is normally from YouTube. So, uh, YouTube, if you're out there watching this later on, Sir Explosive Hopper wants you to know that you do not stink. So, let's get our introductions in. We've got eight players and eight kings, and the kings explode, okay? Imperator, playing as the Saracens in the orange. In the purple or magenta, we have some noob playing as the Koreans. And some noob said... Alas, it is my time to become a legend. That's what the uh, the Discord chat was as we were setting up this game. Um, in the gray, we have Bad Speller, who has played before and has been around for years. I know that because of the bad spelling. One of the better usernames I've seen playing as the Bohemians. In the green, we've got Steve Splinter. Also has played quite a few games over the years. Has been around a long time playing as the Bengalis. New Civ. In the red, we've got uh, Prox. I genuinely, like, I'm very interested on how this is possible, that large zero there. Anyways, Prox is playing as the Hindustanis. In the teal, we have Biter Sauce playing as the Magyars. In the blue, we've got Hamden Fed playing as the Malians. And then last but not least, we have Sir Explosive Hopper, who I did leave till last because Sir Explosive Hopper has a couple legend videos out there. A very good Diplo player. In fact, already Sir Explosive Hopper is talking to... Teal. It says, by the way, you know how to only talk to specific people in game. And Teal says to everybody. <laughs> Teal says to everybody, I think so, lol, 11. And Sir Explosive Hopper won't know that that message went to everybody. Uh, which is funny to me. And says, okay, good. Let me know if you need help. By the way, Teal, I think I'm your neighbor. I am here. Okay, so already I think Sir Explosive Hopper has looked at these names and has probably said... Kind of what I knew. Okay, I've seen Imperator. I've seen Bad Speller. I've seen Steve Splinter. I think Sir Explosive Hopper knows that there will be a target on their back and wants to allies that are maybe new, right? Like allies that haven't played in community games before. Because if it's your first community game, you don't want to die first. That's embarrassing. And you might want friends because you're not like... I don't want to say part of the cool kids club because it's not like these guys are part of a club at all. But, you know, you've played a couple games. You've been around. It's just a different vibe. Um, so, yeah, now, now here's the thing. With Exploding Kings, I believe the resources disappear. So I'm, like, really interested. If they were to build up massive bases towards these islands in the middle, I mean, not only could multiple people die at once, but then a lot of the resources could get cleared out. And this might be a game where players need to trade on water with something like trade cogs. Anyways, we have time to build up. Um, now Sir Explosive Hopper is talking to Purple. But again, I, Imperator has played before. I'm not sure about Blue. I don't know. Maybe does Yellow... I guess it, it is possible that Yellow's just kind of picking random people. As Sir Explosive Hopper is now saying, I think I'm your neighbor, which is the second time this has been said and the second time it's incorrect. But, uh... Or one of the closer guys, because I am player four, want to make Trading Empire. Yeah, this this is a guess from Explosive Hopper, because if team positions are on... Sorry, I heard a weird noise outside my door. I think it's just my cat whining. Um, if team positions are on in team games... Your color can uh, affect your position. So this is just a wild guess. And Sir Explosive Hopper has talked to three out of the seven people already. Now we have Hey Green. 
Like, Sir Explosive Hopper obviously has to go eco, but also has to go to the chat menu, adjust who's who they're talking to, and then type it out every single time. And this continues. A hey, green talking only to you. So in a normal game, it's like this happens, but one person talks only to one person and leaves it at that. Sir Explosive Hopper is trying to be friends with everybody. However, Steve has been around, so I am curious on Steve's situation here and if Steve wants to respond. Okay. Yeah, it was a really weird noise in, in the hallway. It kind of freaked me out because I'm home alone. Oh my God. Also, my chat is just frozen here. There we go. Okay, so yellow says, can you read my chat? And green's just not responding just yet. Okay. Also, uh, red and orange did not ally anybody indeed. That is an important thing you need to do in Diplo is go to that screen and set people to ally. The fact that that's not happens could put massive targets on their back later on in this game. And Imperator says, oh man, I hate Saracens. What did the Saracens do to you? I mean, the Saracens aren't too bad. If you like to go knights, maybe it's not your civilization. Now, here's a player who hasn't talked a lot, who I think you're going to need to focus on, and that is Bad Speller, okay? Bad Speller's been around. I'm not sure if Bad Speller ever won a community game, but Bohemians are a pretty solid civilization. They're solid on water, very solid on land, if you can get to the land, of course. We'll see what happens. Some noob says, hi, yellow. Let's team up. And Sir Explosive Hopper now talking to the world. It says, hey, all by the way, middle area rich on resources. So yellow's probably like, yes, we got another person talking to me. Perfect. That's two people. I can work with that. Also, blue is, is having a very quick start here. Um, I think blue might be, at least based on what I've seen so far, one of the better players in this game. I just don't have as much experience watching this player. Also, can someone tell me what biter sauce is? Forgive my ignorance, but I have no clue what biter sauce is. Is it an actual sauce? Is this like a a funny nickname? Is there something I should know about biter sauce? Also, Hamden Fid? You know me, I don't really know other languages. It, it feels very, uh, very German. Biter sauce. Okay, no one has really transported. Actually, I take it back. Biter sauce is here. Sir Explosive Hopper is now offering friendship to Imperator. You don't think it's an actual sauce? Okay, disappointing. I like this. Hey, let's be friends. Okay. Says the player who hasn't allied anyone. <laughs> okay. Orange might need some friends here. And Orange now allies someone for the first time and accepts that alliance. Oh my god. This is crazy. He's doing this to everybody. And Orange doesn't realize that Sir Explosive Hopper has already allied. Um, so I'm trying to keep track of who Sir Explosive is to talk to. But <laughs> guys, this APM, like, does it show within Capture Age? Does it show chat? <laughs> The APM, the actions per minute, has to be insane for Sir Explosive Hopper. We talk about hotkeys for in-game, but this guy's got hotkeys for the chat menus at this point. Biter sauce isn't a thing, but biter might be beater rather than biter. Okay. But I'm disappointed. <laughs> also to the person <laughs> who has the who has the gamer account Zuck My Balls, I just want to watch AoE. <laughs> I love you. Oh my god. Zuck my balls. Uh, hopefully that page is working out for you. I'm glad to have you. Alright. So I think Orange is a little scared of the world. There might be people out there who can relate. Uh, I know that many of my viewers have never played in a community game. Many viewers, you know, might still be working up the courage to even try and enter when we do this, typically on Fridays. Um... And so anyways, you know, like the oh my is like, oh, geez, everyone's much better than me. This is really awkward. But if you truly feel that in Orange's position, it's really good to have a friend like Sir Explosive Hopper. 
Especially someone that reached out to you. It's almost like too good to be true, you know? Like, wow, they, they, they reached out to me. I thought I was going to have to beg. We do see Castle H first for Blue, who now is going to take the Eastern Island. No, Western Island. Why can I never get East and West down without thinking about it? It's a little embarrassing, but in my brain, I still sometimes have to do the old uh, phrase, never eat soggy waffles. I think people had different different North, East, South, West words uh, growing up. But for me to remember, it was always my teachers taught me never eat soggy waffles, which in hindsight doesn't make sense because I love soggy waffles. If it's soggy with like syrup, I'm all over that. Um, I think some, pe some people had like soggy worms and whatnot, too. That's that's probably more realistic. But anyways, I always make that mistake. If I try and speak it real quickly, I always get it wrong. A blue on the second town center over here in the west. There's two main islands, and you can see other people are here as well. Gray's now dropping a TC. Green now dropping a TC. And um, orange and purple, talking only to you two. Let's have this east corner alliance and help each other. I think we share the island in Ast 2. Hmm. No dice, I'm attacking orange, says purple. So this actually... <laughs> this kind of ruins Sir Explosive Hopper's plan. <laughs> He's trying to get these guys to be buddies, and purple's already landing orange. <laughs> yes, this is amazing. And Sir Explosive Hopper's like, no, 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 settle down. Because I can send some resources to both to compensate for damage. Really want us to be friends. These are the only two people that really responded to him. And this is going to ruin his long-term plan. Let's see what happens. Now, what's funny is the tower they start with has insane range. I didn't realize it. But this tower is actually ranging Purple's tower. And, I mean, Purple's going for Militia and Towers. It's clear to me that these are two of the weaker players in the game. And purple says, it's me and you versus the world. <laughs> so so basically acting like you love everybody has completely bit Sir Explosive Hopper in the ass. <laughs> because Purple thought he was special. And Sir Explosive Hopper is just trying to get the best out of these alliances. And is actually sending resources to Purple too. Let's have a deal, Purple and Orange. I send you both 250 food and three of us are allies. Obviously, Orange is going to be okay with this. Orange says okay, of course. I mean, Orange doesn't want to die to this rush. Wow, this is funny. Some noob is the best. Some noob has made this game really, really funny. Meanwhile, everyone else is just friends, right? So there's not no chatting going on. Is red between us, says Teal. And Steve says no idea, and that, that answer would be yes. Oh, but red also hasn't allied anybody. Okay, so that, that's an issue, guys. Like, Diplo 101 is you have to ally people, otherwise they're going to think you're the enemy. And still resources are being sent. Let it be us against the world, and then we can fight it out at the end, says Sir Explosive Hopper. And you got to love the smiley face added on there. As we see a castle drop from Purple. Purple does not care at all. Purple just wants the king to explode. Wow, and this continues to be a problem, and that castle's going to complete, and this could kill Imperator. So, Sir Explosive Hopper, he's a player who always has the master strategy, at least in my experience. And very rarely do you see that his acts of diplomacy are turned down. It's just that he had two people accept it, but they did not promise that they would not attack each other. Now, I think at this point, maybe Yellow has moved on and is talking to Blue, Blue is also top score, though. That could be a bit different, as the king has had to relocate now for Imperator. And Imperator says, sigh. Imperator is not pleased with this. Also, is not garrisoned the TC at all. Is probably just focused on the king. Now, if you were really upset with somebody for doing this, you could try and just send your king to their base and then delete it, and then they would die with you. But it looks like Orange really wants to survive. Castle's up. TC will start to go down. And I, Purple's just very much like, I got in a T90 community game, and you know what? I'm going to make it count. I don't know if I'm going to live very long in this game. 
But I need to make sure that I can do some damage. So I can I can say that I did something. And so teal and green definitely have an alliance. We're going to call that the Splinter Sauce Alliance. That sounds cool. Oh my god. Is orange going to go to yellow's base now to survive? If I'm yellow, I do not want an additional bomb. Orange says I don't have the APM for this. I, I do feel bad for orange, by the way. Orange did one piece. Purple chose war. Orange is losing so much over here. And it's, it's trying to save as many villagers as possible. But the last thing I would want, as I said before, if I'm Sir Explosive Hopper, is an additional bomb at my base. Where if this person were to delete this, you could die. So you really have to be nice to Orange now. Because these wagons are trying to hit this transport ship. And seems like the transport get away. Hey, small bonus of having Saracens is you have really tanky transport ships there, Orange. They might not like Saracens, but they're actually really good for this situation. Total economies are at the bottom left of your screens. Red has now realized, oh, maybe I should ally people. This is a re really weird situation with his name. I cannot explain that. Whoa, 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 whoa. So now he declares war on everybody as well? What's happening? Sorry, there's so many things on screen right now. I think Capture Age is glitched out because of this. No, don't tell me. Okay, it went away. Thank God. Blue only to you. That is a very scary castle. And Blue says, how to private chat. So Blue's a good... Blue's clearly a very good player, but doesn't really have the community game experience to even know where the chat menu is. And now Sir Explosive Hopper is going to say how to do it. Now, Orange made a similar error earlier uh, and didn't have other people allied and has now allied those players. So this has been an interesting start. Now, some noob is actually not the biggest noob. Some noob has solid economy behind that pressure. Hasn't killed the king, of course. But is really just hunting down orange. <laughs> I don't know. Have these two had like a debate within the Discord or something? I don't understand why purple hates orange so much. And yellow says, hide your king inside my castle. Don't let it stand there. Well, I mean, to be fair to Sir, Sir Explosive Hopper. Sir Explosive Hopper could have said... Like, hey, you 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 are not going to have this king on this island. You need to leave. You need to send it somewhere else. So that was a nice move, I guess. And Orange is pointing out how big of a pain purple continues to be. And Gray now says, what is going on there? Hopper, man at arms. So he's confused. I'm sure everyone would be confused if they were to look over there and see what's happening. But they're all focused on their own situation. Okay, so gray and yellow now talking. Yellow's talked to virtually everyone in this game. Not everyone has responded. It says, do you want to secure trade between me and you in the southeast corner? We need to take care of purple. He is very aggro. So what did some noob say? Purple said, like, you and me till the end. I feel like if you don't work with your teammate, you know, and the teammate's plans, you might quickly be thrown by the wayside here, some noob. I think Red continues to be very confused. And Red, not sure exactly where to go or what to do, does ally some people now. So you have Blue, who's a good player, but doesn't know the chat menu. You have Sir Explosive Hopper, who's trying to be friends with people who are attacking each other. Those are the big talking points right now. I mean, you've got some people that are like near the brink of death, but could still maybe survive. And Sir Explosive Hopper says, Orange, put King in transport. Okay, so this this is a little risky. Orange says why. Now what's interesting is yellow's actually making petards here and not exactly hiding that either. So uh, what I'm thinking is if I were to be devious, this was purple will attack me, but he can't tell what's in the transport. That seems like a lie to me. I'm not too sure yet. That seems like a lie. But anyways. You could drop Orange's King off at Purple's base. That's actually really smart. So what you do is you get Orange's King inside of your transport. At that point, Orange can't control it. And you just drop it off at Purple's base underneath a castle or something. And then it would kill Purple and Orange in one swing. Here comes Purple with wagons. 
So purple's showing up. And he's only trying to kill orange, man. He's only trying to kill orange. Obviously, he would kill the king now. So orange should not hop out of this castle. I don't think yellow necessarily realizes this. Because, again, yellow is not getting hit. But this is, there's a live bomb in your castle. You do not want that to affect you here. And now Sir Explosive Hopper, I think, is going to try and reason with purple. Meanwhile, everybody, this is like cramped city. It is, is has been heavily populated over here. And you leave my base because he will kill my base. I don't know. Purple's having fun. Purple is just having fun. Loves to kill things. Yellow, I am hunting orange. Please, we can trade after. <laughs> but what What do you gain from hunting orange? <laughs> Sir Explosive Hopper has tried to reason so nicely. I will kill orange. Can you leave my base? If you kill him in my base, I die. Okay. There's no funky business here. Okay, now there goes the king. Okay, so now the king is going to go into the transport. Now, Sir Explosive Hopper made a promise to kill Orange. Orange, you got to get in now. You have to get inside. Oh, man. Orange. <laughs> Sir Explosive Hopper must be so annoyed. Like, he's trying so hard to get people to just work together, and it's just not happening. Okay, now the king is officially in the transport. Now, again, what you do here is you... <laughs> You take Orange's King to Purple's Island. Maybe it's too rude to Purple. And you just... You send it over there and you trap it. And then you tell Orange, Well, Orange, you might as well commit suicide so you can take Purple out with you. We'll see, though. I'll keep you updated on this. So, no one has relocated their kings from their starting islands to the mainland, which is pretty wild. Also, Bengalis have pretty crazy elephant archers. So that seems to be what Steve is making. And elephant archers have never been weak, but elephant archers have always been like really costly and take a lot of time. So in a community style game like this, elephant archers, I think, could actually be very strong, especially to snipe kings. Arn says, I actually really dislike this. And keep in mind, the other thing, even if Sir Explosive Hopper doesn't move this king, if that transport ship goes down and it sinks, there will be no explosion. So, this is the much safer thing for Sir Explosive Hopper. I feel bad for Imperator. I don't know if anyone else does. I feel bad for Imperator. Imperator might not have, like, started off the game allying purple. Maybe that was part of it, but still. I'm sorry, but it is safer for me this way, so Sir Explosive Hopper. Green, just to you. How are you with red? Well, I think they're going to end up killing red. And Imperator is bringing up the Discord chat. So this was before the game started. And some noob said, I really want to become a legend. Don't kill me or whatever. And Imperator is kind of like, dude, what is this? Because I love how you pleaded for everyone to be nice to you in the beginning. I think some noob is having fun, though. And some noob is actually making rams now, too. <laughs> and it's just straight up bullying Orange. Just straight up bullying Orange. I think Sir Explosive Hopper might need to get rid of Purple at some point. Because Purple clearly is not going to cooperate. Oh my god. Just, ram just Rams running across the map to go, <laughs> to go take out Orange's PC. <laughs> For whatever reason. <laughs> uh. Orange, would you like to deliver a top Kami experience for T90? I think Orange knows what <laughs> I think Orange knows what Hopper is gonna suggest here. Aha, up to you. And Orange says, "I know what you have in mind." Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's what I mentioned earlier. I'm sure. Red needs to be on the move here, though. Blue is here with some champions. Not the best unit ever to snipe a king. Orange says, "I really hate purple." Why not? Okay, so they don't even need to say exactly what the idea is. They know what they're thinking. Here's got, here Red has some navy. But if that king goes down, there will be an explosion. It is one hit away from going down now. And the light cavern here. Oh, Red, Red might actually survive, though. Okay, so if you're Red, you've got a bomb that you could use as well on somebody if you're really upset with them. 
Do it. Kill them all, says Orange. Okay, so... You know, the king is here right now. That is something that Yellow will be able to, to see. Because if you look, there's, nothing, there's no units garrisoned. I really don't know what the long-term plan was for Purple. But I think Purple's just having fun. And Orange says, do you know where his king is? Now, there are people out there... This is what's great about characters like some noob. There are people out there who are just going to hate some noob and how some noob is acting. But other people out there are just going to love the chaos that it's brought. But yeah, Red survives from that sniping attempt, guys. And now if there's an explosion, now if you kill him, it could affect other people as well. Some noob says... <laughs> Where's Orange's King? <laughs> I want to John Cena him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love some noob. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, Teal's confused. Is like, who's fighting who? Green's like, no one. Okay. Purple is noob bullying, says Imperator, making it clear. Like, Purple's the bully here. <laughs> Um, oh my god! 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 Gray is shown up to attack purple, and he's about to get John Cena! Dur, 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 dur. Oh, okay. Never mind. I tried. But purple could still die here, and orange could survive and live a peaceful life. Some noob says hi, blue. Um, I don't know exactly who purple's trying to talk to, <laughs> but the micro's really good. Purple hasn't lost the king yet. Trying to talk to everybody publicly as this king is waiting for a transport ship. And oh my god! How is he talking to people and still saving the king? No way! Ah! Oh god. Oh no, the transport ship's bugging. It's so close to going down. It's in the transport! It is in the transport ship. Are you kidding me? Purple gets away. Wow. Okay, now remember the plan was for Yellow to escort that orange king to explode purple but now purple's going somewhere else and purple says gray that was mean meanwhile speaking of being mean red is back in a ship because people are attacking him now of course in red's case he did start off without allying anybody it, it definitely seems like the time though red you know you've got nothing to maybe let your king explode hopper made me do it he brainwashed me as he does sorry so bad speller now throws that awkward thing in the works and I don't think that Hopper even realizes where that king is right now for purple. So Gray, he might have just whispered in purple's ear. And that might make purple think negatively of Hopper. Hey, purple, I found Orange's king. This is there explosive Hopper? Oh my god. It's right there. <laughs> and it's gonna go down. And so that will lead to purple dying. Does purple realize this fast enough to get away? So this will be our first explosion of the game. I'm sure there will be more. The kings have massive explosion radius. Yeah, this is this is the end. And the king goes down now for purple. There will be an additional explosion, of course. Purple's out of the game. And yellow's loving life. The two people that Sir Explosive Hopper wanted to bring together have now died. And Orange is, uh, I think Orange should be satisfied with that. I mean, not satisfied that Purple started off the game attacking, but cue the John Cena music there. Some noob just got John cena by Imperator's King. That's what happened. Okay, so that was chaotic. GG, that's what you get, says Imperator. And Red is sailing away. Now, again, if the King sinks, there will be no explosion. Blue sees this and says, kill it. But Blue's still having issues with the chat messages. So, Blue says that to everybody, and i it's not a big deal to say that to everybody. Purple's incredibly silent at the moment. Might have closed out the game. Red is just one flame away from this transport going down. Surely, Red sees that as well. Like, the, the fire ship is closing in, Red. You need to drop this off somewhere. Quickly. You need to get on the shoreline, Red. Okay, on the shoreline now is the king, and it's still very weak. And it's running right into the Blue's economy. And so the King's not here for Blue, but Blue needs to get out of here, man. 
Lou needs to get out of here. Also, I don't know if he necessarily even garrisoned that TC. He might have had Tigui. Lou says rip. So now we have three people gone. I do think other players will be safe with this. But, oh my goodness, man. <laughs> that was insane. Ah. Some noob says, T90, it has been a slice. No John Cena, but nonetheless legendary. It, it was legendary. That was funny. Now, green and teal, every once in a while, they, they check in with each other. And I like it. Like, hey, how are you doing? What's your status with blue? He scares me. So now blue might be on the outs with these guys because blue is aggressive against red. Lighter Saw says, I feel low because I'm a lil. Lowy the legend over here. It's nothing wrong with that. Lowy the legends have won community games before. Blue, economically, I'm sure is fine with the stockpile. Yeah, the stockpile is insane. 21,000 gold is the highest in the game. But obviously, losing all those buildings is not cheap. You are not, Lowy the legend. You're my buddy, says Steve. Aww. Yes. But that's important. We'll see if Sir Explosive Hopper is going to chat up anybody. Because green actually turns on blue. And oh my god! It's 15,000 HP worth of elephant archers. And then you also have the siege elephants. Now, I'm still getting used to the uh, new civilization, the Begalis, because you just don't see it a lot competitively. I forget their unique text. I think one has their... Uh, I think they, like, take up less pop space. All their, or they have more pop space, or their military is 10% less pop space. I think the other one, the elephants attack faster, or it's a regen faster thing. I Forgive me. I'm still trying to catch up on the Bengalis. The other three civilizations I know very well. Okay. I'm your humble, brainwashed servant, says Gray, to Sir Explosive Hopper. This is maybe green, but I don't have a preference as we see teal and green work together now against blue. So Vil's like take less pop space and then the elephants regen. Okay. I think they also attack faster though, but I don't think that's a unique tech. I think that's just overall. I don't I I, I don't recall. Maybe it is a unique tech. Malian champions are high pierce armor, so they actually should be good compared to other champions against archers, but still at the end of the day, that's a lot of firepower. And I think blue is in a bad spot because blue, um, well, first off, lost, will we'll lose this position on this island. Great job, though, to expand to this one to get what resources are left. But blue doesn't have a friend, right? Like, that's the big deal is blue is not teamed up with anybody. And we see this a lot where, like, players are very talented, clearly, with the game itself, but they might not really have that diplo down. And that can have a really big effect. Elephant regen is Ravidian unique tech. Okay. Yeah, the problem with that as well is it's also like feels like borderline useless for the civilization, except for key situations. The Civ doesn't really flow into elephants that well, but I think the Bengalis do in Boomy games. So, makes sense. So, lots of navy coming over here, I've noticed for green. Oh, you know what happened is green probably is trying to trade with these docks. Or was trying to trade with the docks and then forgot that the gather point was there and then is trying to make navy now. Hmm. Green, blue, teal. Ooh, interesting. Bad spell are opening up the chat to some others. Hopper has base. Unbreakable base. Okay, so I don't know why that was bleeped the first time. Uh we need to team up to kill. Let's look at Hopper's base. Uh, it's, it's certainly secure. I don't know if it's more unbreakable than, like, Blues, for example. I cannot snipe him or defeat him on my own. Meanwhile, Blue says, They are traitors and cowards. Let's kill them. And Blue's saying this to everybody. <laughs> and Sir Explosive Hopper assumes that Blue is saying that only to him and says, Deal if you want to trade, by the way. Yellow, you... Yellow to you, you are the pominating, which I think is meant to be dominating. And Steve's just enjoying the elephants. And honestly, the elephants are quite strong here, so I don't blame him too much. 
Hmm. The elephant archers attack faster after the new patch. Yeah, I saw that, and I can't help but disagree with it because elf arch elephant archers are always strong in late game. I think that it's going to make them even stronger in late game, and it's not necessarily going to make them stronger in early game. Um, but, you know, what's new with the devs not really getting the elephant archers right? It took, like, two and a half years for us to actually see them with, when it was Indians, and then I felt like it was in a good spot, and then they changed the stats on the unit because it's now available out of archer ranges, so it's like, ah, it's crazy. But they are very strong in late game. They always have been in, in the uh, multiple iterations we've seen of them. Yes, Gray was kind enough to kill the other guys, his hopper. Yes, I'm friends with you. We can both have islands. As Green now turns on hopper, and that is with the navy here. Hmm. So you would have preferred lower cost instead? I wouldn't have increased the stats... But I think I think it's a really hard unit to balance in general, honestly. I think the, the tougher thing was like was balancing or, or like um, having civilization centered around that unit. So maybe I, I'll be curious to see how it goes. But I think if it attack if the if the damage output is any greater, like if the HP's increased or the attack speed's crazier, I think it's a dangerous slippery, slippery slope for post him. 300 HP here. 300 HP for a unit that is 7 plus 4 attack is wild. Very tanky against archers as well, right? But they are awkward to use. And Gray seems to be trying to attack the purple? What would you like? A trade route? A promise of future allyship? Resources? You choose. So as yellow is fighting green, yellow is now making offers to green. I could be wrong, but I feel like Steve and Hopper played in a game together before. And Green says, sound reasonable. Let's go for safe trade. Okay, so Green's going to take him up on the deal. Hopper, by the way, will would have defended anyways. And I think Gray is going to be tempted to try and take out Hopper right now. Remember, Gray was just telling the others it's impossible to kill Yellow. Okay, let's do that. Red says, first community game and first online game ever doesn't go very well. Well, Red, I don't think you played too bad. I think the main thing that was tough for you was the lack of communication, which does become very important in comedy games, but my salute goes out to you. The best thing that happened to you here, Red, was the fact that when you went out, you took somebody with you. Ever since you went out, the person who killed you has been struggling. So I don't think you should see that as a huge negative here. Hmm. Okay, so they're talking about transports, I believe. The Splinter Sauce team. This is heavily fortified. And actually, hold on. Blue's making a lot of champions here. So it's kind of... I mean, I know Hopper's kind of friends with everybody right now. But if Blue and Yellow were to want to hold this together, I think they could. Oh my god, and for the first time in the game, Blue realizes how to do the chat settings. And says, us three against the two noobs. Meanwhile, Teal, when blue is dead, you kill yellow, question mark. Yeah, Gray doesn't want to be on that team. Did I just say Ella farts? I don't think I did, but I'll say it now, Ella farts. By the way, blue is trying to have me and Gray join against you two. I will not help him. Ooh, wait a second. So yellow's snitching. To get green on his side and for to get them to kill blue now i think yellow is probably banking on gray being a buddy because they're trading together <laughs> green says you have my heart which i love blue escape to my transport ship also speaking of snitches what's up bring me biscuits did i really say ella fart I got like a story. I don't know if I should tell this to you guys, but I think it's really funny. So basically last night I was debating on if I wanted to come back and stream more after a long day of casting. I did end up coming back online to play. But anyways, normally it's like we're watching TV or whatever, right? But my girlfriend was working a bit. Oh God, hold on. Story will be delayed. The king is here. The elite Gabetto here shredded those elephants though. And they should be able to keep Blue alive. 
Maybe we'll put that story on hold for a while. Teal, I have more, says Steve. And that might be saying, like, I can help with this. I think what they really want is they want Navy. And now Gray's here. And Gray should be able to at least take care of the castles. And if Gray takes care of the castles, the king's going to be out in his own. Gray's an interesting player here because he's not really... Oh, he's got, he's got wagons. But he's not really talking to Green. He's not really talking to Teal, but he is helping them here. You fell asleep to me streaming last night, and then you woke up for work, and I was streaming again. Perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. Anyways, the king is now here, but blue's fortifications will crumble. And blue can't really do much. Like, blue doesn't have water control, and blue's champions, they, they keep this area protected, but it's not like blue's going to attack yellow now. Oh, wow. Yellow's trying to save blue. If you betray me, the stain will be on yes. you. This is blue. Wow. The stain, huh? All right. You don't want to get stained over here, yellow. Yellow gray wants to kill you. Wow. And <laughs> yellow immediately after getting this king says, gray, I secured a nuclear bomb. We can use it in the upcoming 2v2. <laughs> I love Sir Explosive Hopper so much. He is so fun, man. And the thing is, he's overall a really nice ally. Like, he gave resources to the two people that ended up killing each other off earlier just to try and get them to be friends. <laughs> uh, I mean, and Blue's really going to want that king to be safe because Blue actually has some stuff. I don't know. It can still all be ranged by Navy. Man, this is funny. Teal Green, I have Blue's King. You want me to kill him? Okay. But wait, now Gray is telling... So Gray is not actually teamed with Hopper at all. Again, I told you Gray knows Hopper's tendencies. He doesn't want Hopper to win again. It says Yellow has Blue's King. He's going to try and snipe one of us. And now Blue's asking. He says, let me kamikaze someone. Let me kill Gray, that coward. Oh my god, Teal Teal receives the information from Gray and now turns around with Green and they say, hey, yeah, kill Gray with that. We heard you have a bomb, go kill Gray with that. So everyone wants Gray dead. Dang, and Gray is dangerous, by the way. He's top scorer. He has been a threat. And now Yellow says, all three of them asking me to drop blue on you. I will drop it on them instead. No! <laughs> Hopper doesn't know the bad speller has been spilling. He's a bad spiller. He's been spilling information. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I have been your loyal friend. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the definition of loyal is from where you're from, but... And they're going to have a fair 1v1 at the end, apparently. And Teal says gray is the problem here. Now, we don't know... If yellow, like, it could be possible that yellow is not going to drop it at green's base or something, right? Like, it is very possible that Hopper is also lying to gray right now. And oh my god! Now yellow says, okay, dropping the bomb on gray. Where is this bomb gonna go? Nobody knows where this bomb is gonna go. It doesn't look like it's heading towards gray. It looks like it's heading towards green, and actually, he, if he kills green, he would probably kill teal as well. Is not heading towards gray at the moment. I don't know what is truth and what is a lie. Coming up. Okay, teal. Let's kill green. No, no, no. Teal. Then we 1v1 at the end. Deal? I, I Teal might freak out here. Teal, teal might be like, uh, yo, Steve, this is not good. He's, he's like fumbling through his chat messages right now. Trying to get the settings right. As you wish, sire, I am your pawn. This game has so many layers. I just physically facepalmed. That actually really hurt. Ouch. Gray's base in south. Gray base right now in south. Yo, yellow, do it on teal. Blue just wants to die. Blue's like, let me die. 
Heal. Let's kill green right now. What? Blue says, I understand the politics. Well, I don't. Okay, so there's the king. And the king will now die. And this will lead to Fighter Sauce, who just said, I'm your pawn dying. And Teal's like, I don't think Teal really knows. Like, Teal is actually going to attack green. I don't know if Teal knows about that. Blue says, I chose my own death, and now the explosion happens. And with that, Diter Sauce, or whoever Sauce dies, and Diter Sauce is pretty accurate. And Yellow says, okay, Gray, I dropped it on them. And now Gray immediately says, okay, Teal, me and you against Yellow, let's go. But Teal's already dead. Teal is already dead. And now the army's dead. And so now we have three people left. And I guess it's going to be Steve Splinter and Bad Speller against Yellow. But Yellow believes that Gray has this pact with him. Wow, what, a, what an interesting game. Okay, so let's look at the stockpile. Um, Hopper has more resources than anyone. Hopper also has a really good naval civilization. Turks are definitely up there. So Green somehow survives from that. Green wanted to go for elephants this whole game. Bengalis don't have bad navy, but... Well, Gray, why don't the two of you fight it out? Now, again, I, I believe Steve... Well, Steve doesn't want to be involved. That's the main thing here. He doesn't have any navy. <laughs> if you don't join, I kill you with him and then fight it out. Wow, so Gray is saying... Is I can't take him alone. He is 1,600 rated. So it's a good argument. So so Gray's like, listen, it's up to you. No. You have to join me. And it's a compelling argument. Green says, okay, let's do it, Gray. Meanwhile, Sir Explosive Hopper says, Green, how about me and you team against Gray? And then we have a fair duel with Kings at the end. Have Archer only. Are Elephant Archers allowed? <laughs> okay, let's kill him. So they're going to make a big move here. They're going to make a big play. I don't know if green can really contribute because green doesn't have navy. But maybe something will build up there. Gray's got a massive navy right now. The army count says 104, 80, and then 123. But I don't actually know where the 80 is for green. Oh, it's right here. Some of it anyways. Um... I think this is the perfect time for a wonder victory if you're yellow. I mention this a lot. That if you know you're going to be 2v1, you can start making a wonder. It is possible in the settings we play. And Green says, I only have elephant archers. Seems unfair. I'd win. Okay, then. Some other unit. 10 champs versus 10 champions. I don't know if Bengali champions are fully upgraded. But Gray now turns on yellow. Which, I'm going to assume that Yellow didn't expect. But look at Yellow move. I think Yellow is thinking that it's easier. Look, look at, oh my god, look at the demos in the choke point. Yellow is moving through the center channel to get to Gray's base to kill that king before he will lose his own king to Gray. It's an interesting little risk he's taking here. Sorry, bro, he brainwashed me, says Gray. And it seems like green is actually going to team with gray, uh, sorry, with yellow. But Steve hasn't really made a move. And remember, Steve was pretty happy to just suggest that they fight it out amongst themselves. I think everyone could go for a wonder right now. And okay, I don't know if gray spotted this. Yeah, gray spotted this. So gray saw the, the counter attack coming. Um, these wagons are super tanky. Like these wagons are actually going to do a great job. I just tanking up some of the galleon shots. But okay, green now makes the move on on um, on gray, which will just mean the castles get cleared up. It doesn't really have a massive effect on what's happening over here. Interesting. Okay, so the demos are waiting. We've got more navy. We've even got transport ships for yellow, who might be thinking about running with that king. Yellow's also not patrolling. Yellow's also not patrolling. Yellow still hasn't patrolled. Yellow's navy is going down to Gray. He was chatting. Gray, I'm okay with becoming allies again. I know this happens. 
That was painful to see, but that's the downside of chatting as much as we see Sir Explosive Hopper chat. And that's the end for that little attack. Because I'm also down to ally back against Green, so... I don't know, like, I wouldn't accept this, personally, if I were Grey, because you've just bested the guy, and Green isn't a threat to you. So I wouldn't accept it. I would just keep pushing on here. Um, if, if he was threatening you, then maybe. But I think even if Yellow had patrolled there and was ready to attack, I think Grey would have been ready to defend. The thing about demos, though, guys, is that they kind of have to work. Otherwise, you're just down 20, in this case, 20 population, and you've wasted a lot of golden wood. Okay, well played, Hopper. I will be your humble servant once more and take second place. <laughs> Teal says immediately, from heaven up above, I said that too, and I was exploded. <laughs> That's true. Like 10 seconds after Teal said, I would be, I will be your humble servant, Teal died. Oh man, community games are brutal. Brutal, I tell you. Uh, Werner, what's up? Yeah, there's been some awesome booms in this game. <laughs> what a funny time to hear Teal chime in. Hmm. Okay, so the kings... Two kings are on starting island. And then you've got this as well. And Teal will continue to root for green. What green needs is, a, is peace with somebody to then allow him to transport to their island and kill their king. Like you can't transport elephants to someone that you're enemy to because they're going to have castles and navy. Come here, I go around to his base, says Yellow. So all Yellow has really done here, as we watch these wagons finally get picked off, all Yellow is doing is just allying Gray, so it's easier, I think, to move around towards Gray's base. I don't think Yellow actually wants to team. Here come the transport ships, though. Um, interesting game. Let's look at the stockpiles again. Kind of low for green right now. Gray's up there. Gray has some gold units still, probably some trade cogs. 16k for yellow. It should last him a while. And yeah, here are the transport chips. You can fit 20 elephants in each transport chip. Don't ask me how that works. Seriously, why ally with yellow? He is a legend and 1600. And this is a fair point, right? Like, there's only so many legends throughout community games past. And Explosive Hopper is one of them. And Gray just can't understand. Gray's like, why would you ally? <gasps> Capture H crashed. Hold on a second. What in the world was that? Okay, one moment, guys. That scared the crap out of me. That was really weird. Let me just quickly reopen it. I think we will lose some of our stats, like KD and whatnot. But we should still be able to watch this. Okay, hold on. Um, yeah, okay, so we're back in the game, and then some of the data we had on who killed who is gone. No! You're supposed to capture! Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time. Um, I do have a backup attempt here. I have another version that we can try. My apologies. I've never had this happen before. It's working again. Let's ally, Gray, says Yellow. And we did miss some action here as we just watch elephants get massacred by Navy. What I'm not going to do is I'm not going to like click or drag or select anything. If it's running, I think maybe it has to do with selecting something. And I'll report that to them to hopefully avoid that issue in the future. Gray's like, I already am allied with you. Green, I am delivering payload, says Yellow. Now I'm going to assume the payload and the elephants... He says, okay, I am transporting to his base. So yellow, I think, is trying to explain away the transport ships that are moving towards gray. And it's very hard to trust people. Remember, gray does not trust um, yellow, but is currently allied with yellow. Maybe thinking that he could use that time to conveniently pick off green. 
This is the payload. Now remember, 20 units can go inside the transport ship. Gray might notice this, but Gray only has a couple moments now. Now, allies himself back to Gray. This would be an epic shipment. Gray just said, why be friends with the guy? And now Green pops out. And of course, the units immediately start getting attacked. So Green needs to move. Green needs to make a move for that king right now. These elephants are tanky, but they need to find that king ASAP. I don't think Green knows about this. I think Green is worried about this over here. Okay, now Green is moving. Does Gray know about this? That's my question. Gray has not said anything. I've seen no indications that Gray has actually noticed this. The ships, I think... Yeah, like, look, he's just clicking his ships forward. I don't think he knows he's being attacked. And Steve Splinter, who's teamed up with Explosive Hopper, as Gray so wisely said, may, might be a mistake. Uh, Gray's gonna die. So the teamwork there from green and yellow, the transport from Explosive Hopper, and we have two people remaining. Bad Speller's dead. And Biter Sauce is really pumped about that one. Well played there, green. Didn't need teal after all to make it to the top two spots. The GGs are called, and we have a 1v1 situation now, but I think we all know that Sir Explosive Hopper would win this game if this continued in a standard fashion. Steve said, let's just finish this. <laughs> you just combine unstoppable, but unstoppable. <laughs> Says bad speller because he knows how good the guy is. Oh, my God. Can I kill King in your base? Says Green. That's actually a funny way to end it because it's not like yellow will explode. If there's only two people left, the second Green dies. Yeah, the second green dies, the game's over. There's no explosion. Now, it is also a way to get access to transporting into the guy's base. So, this could be a trick, which would be epic. Hmm, I thought we had men-at-arm 1v1s. Green says, you deserve the win, man. Okay, fine as well. Come at me, bro. I want to click this transport, but I don't want capture age to bug again. But let's see if green has the idea to put the elephants inside the transport as well. It could be full on respect here from green. And I wouldn't necessarily hate that. I think Sir Explosive Hopper has just done Hopper things here. But man, you know what I would like love to see, guys? I would love to see Blue Coffee and Sir Explosive Hopper in the same game. We have to make it happen. Like, mix it with enough people who played in community games as well over the years and have been wronged by both of them. And that list is quite high. I think with Explosive Hopper, Hopper is not quite as aggressive and ruthless at times. But both incredibly strategic in these types of games. Okay, Green, I think, saw these demos. Where are they having this man-at-arm battle? Oh, I see. Green's building up the base. Okay. So, okay. Just going to build this up. There's the man-at-arm. Demos have just pulled back here just in case. I don't think Yellow's going to send the king out. What are you building, says Yellow. Well, they said they were going to do a man-at-arm battle, right? Well... If you had to pick eight legends to be in the same game, who would you pick? I would say Snippy, Sir Explosive Hopper, Blue Coffee, Sally, um, oh, how far back do we want to go? I sit in Fatslav? No, no, no. I sit in Fatslav wouldn't work in diplomacy. <laughs> With demos come in here. It gets tricky because there's a lot of really good Diplo players and or players who have been legends. But I think, like, I think combining, like, even just Sir Explosive Hopper and Blue Coffee, if you've ever watched all those games, I think that players would end up picking a side. Like, they would pick which which legend they wanted to kill more than the other one. And I really think Blue Coffee should be, I think what he's achieved, okay, Green just deletes the king. Uh, what Blue Coffee has achieved is, is probably a bit greater just because he's not well-liked. 
<laughs> with the people he plays with. <laughs> Let's be honest. It's been a while since we've seen that guy. But Sir Explosive Hopper, man, he's just always chatting. At the very start, he was chatting to everybody all the time, trying to get things going, flowing the way that he felt would work best for him in the long run with the trade and whatnot. But geez, like, it was such a funny start. The two people that Sir Explosive Hopper wanted to ally with started attacking each other. It was so ridiculous. They both end up dying, of course, with one big explosion. But though we discussed it at the start, though we always discuss it, though Gray even said it, Sir Explosive Hopper makes it happen. Now, I think you know, Steve kind of had a tough decision to make there. I don't think Steve really knew that the reason his teammate Biter Sauce died was because Sir Explosive Hopper sent the king over there. So I think Steve was rather conflicted. And maybe Steve felt like there would be a chance. Like, you could tell Yellow was over here, too, looking for the king at one point. Maybe Steve felt like there's a chance uh, to, to somehow get the win if Gray was out of the picture because Gray was so close to him. But, and there were a lot of really good moments in that game. I'm not sure really how to sum that one up. But unfortunately, we don't have the, the total KD. So what I can do is I'll go into the actual game. I will look at the stats here, okay? Um, there's the KD. So bad speller. That Navy did work in this game. 378 units killed. 208 buildings were raised. Their explosive hopper only killed 74 units this game. But quite a few of those involved were kings. Uh, there's the wood and the food collected there for hopper. Highest gold count was actually blue. I think blue's biggest mistake was maybe just not communicating, right? Um, says He's actually in chat. He says, I jumped out. He was taking me there. He was sailing around. Oh, so you actually pressed it to jump out? Yeah, I think he was taking you there originally, but yeah, I guess you, you also had a say in the matter, right? Yeah, the big thing for blue, like blue, according to this, is 1,400 rated, which is not, not bad, right? Like you've got a couple, like 1,200... Okay, Bad Speller doesn't have any games, but clearly he'd be up there. A anyways, you know, Elo aside, it was clear that Blue was, was a talented player, but Blue didn't know the situation with the chat messages. And I think not discussing things with Biter Sauce and Steve Splinter really hurt his play. Uh, and that was also an issue for Red, I feel. I feel bad for Imperator because Imperator was just attacked because people wanted to kill. Like, some noob just wanted to kill. And, I mean, certainly did do that. Um... You look at the technologies and whatnot, if any of this matters to you, total castles, etc. There's the timeline. You can always tell when there's explosions. Sir Explosive Hopper says, My ELO is not 1600. Look at my win loss ratio. Let's see, win loss ratio. Oh, that is that is really weird. But we don't know what your ELO is because you only have three ranked games. So it sounds like someone maybe you're even better than that. And you just know you're building up such a reputation that the next time around, you don't want to be killed. <laughs> Bad Speller wanted to use it to his advantage. I love it. Great strategies. Well, good game all around. Uh, I thought Pacific... What was it? Pacific Islands, right? I thought the map was pretty decent. Uh, I think we can get a lot of different results on this map. I think we could have games that could go a lot longer with water trade, etc. But because of the early explosions and because of the nonstop action, it wasn't the longest game we've ever seen. I hope people on YouTube realize uh, at the start, like Sir Explosive Hopper said, they do not smell and that they're appreciated. And uh, I hope everybody had a really good time playing the game as well. It was a fun one.